Sport should get along to the York Raceway at Green Hamilton this Sunday. It's the venue for the first ever international long track meeting to be held in the north. Well, long track racing is an elongated version of Speedway and tremendously popular both on the continent and in the States. The organisers, Auto 66 Club, hope that Sunday's event will establish long track firmly over here. But if it succeeds, they've got to thank a totally different sport. David Burton reports. It's this kind of horsepower that regulars to York Raceway are used to. The purpose-built track is one of the North's leading centres for harness racing. But the dimensions of the half-mile circuit make it perfect for long track. So it might not be too long before Green Hamilton hosts a World Championship final. Here's Mayer, and he is on the road to glory. The West Germans absolutely dominant at this sport. Really odd that they don't uh, make such a showing on the 400 meter speedway tracks because they really have commanded this world long track scene for many a year. We've had, of course, uh, Andrew Spitchenek have won the title, so has Ivan Major and Ollie Olsen in the past. But basically, it's West Germany's sport, and this really is West Germany's day. They've taken the first seven places, and Karl Mayer here is the champion for the first time. The excitement of top-class long track racing is familiar to nine times world speedway champion Ivan Major. He won the world long track title in 76. The Hull Viking star used this private practice session to show his son Kim the ropes. Kim's riding in the national class on Sunday. Apart from having six riders per heat instead of four, how is long track different from speedway? The speed's much greater and uh, in order not to uh, wash off the speed at the end of the straight, it's necessary to try and ride into the corners without sliding as much as possible and to hold it like that in the middle of the corner. And you can you do that by technique with the steering the handlebars and also by um, feathering the throttle. You can keep it driving. If it's spinning too much, you roll the throttle off a bit and straighten it up. And uh, it's quite a bit different technique. Do you sit on the bike any differently? Uh, yes, you do. You sit a little bit further back and, and, of course, you lie down down the straights because of the speed. You lie down to get out of the wind. What about the bikes themselves? How do they differ? They're quite different, actually. Um, the longer wheelbase to give them more stability at higher speed and um, they've got much longer uh, travel on the suspension in the front and they've got suspension on the rear which you don't have on speedway and uh, two-speed gearbox and to help off the start and speedway is not necessary for the, to have a gearbox of course speedway is still very much king over in this country ivan do you see long track ever catching on well i hope it does really because uh, for all the big meetings in europe the, you know the real big ones the world championship uh, preliminary rounds in the finals, there's always a lot of people go from England to it and they always enjoy it. You know, I speak to them throughout the year from time to time. But uh, the problem is the venues. You know, all around Europe, most of the, probably about 70 or 80 percent of the tracks we ride on are purpose built and the others, 20 or 30 percent, are horse trotting tracks and uh, or, or big arenas. Um, but in this country, I think it's probably difficult to get enough circuits. This, this one here is it's a perfect circuit. Every day. on the continent it's really going to take off because you've got six seven meetings every weekend 20 30 thousand crowds and uh, if we can bring this to uh, england well we shall be happy so this is really make or break is it it is make or break really we're really putting all we've got into it this year and uh, as i said earlier we're trying to uh, get the world championship over here and uh, two more tracks down the country we've cracked it i hope 
Green Hampton, by the way, is about eight miles northwest of York on the A59. First race on Sunday is at two o'clock.